Hi guys, Rob at Optimal Bodies. Today I'm going to give you my five top tips on how to increase muscle mass. So if you're a bit of a plateau in your training, or you're just really working hard but gains aren't coming as quick as you'd hope, hopefully these will uh, help you out. Some are quite controversial, and you might think the opposite, but I'd recommend giving it a try before you think it's negative. Um, and then some are pretty simple, but are worth explaining for people that have, might not have heard them, or just a recap if you've already heard them. So, number one, we've got protein. Now, like myself, I used to eat every couple of hours, thinking that oh, every two hours I could stimulate growth. Research shows that every four to five hours is much more beneficial. Rather than having little amounts of protein through the day, you can not worry about it, not have to, you can go out for more than two hours without having to take a meal with you. Every four to five hours, a bigger lump of protein can spike protein synthesis, and then you can get on with your day. So it's the total amount of protein that you have in the day that's more important than trying to get it in every couple of hours. And it can be counterintuitive, because protein can raise insulin levels which can hinder fat burning. So we want to see them harder, muscles don't want to have fat covering them up. Okay, so, number two. We've got train your body parts twice a week. This might be counterintuitive. Um, often I've gone years with trying to train body parts once a week. Did get some results, but when I started training them twice a week, the results came faster and a lot better. Um, say you train your chest on Monday, legs Tuesday, Wednesday you go do your shoulders and arms, etc. By the time it comes back around to Monday, so you've had seven full days before you're stimulating some growth, say on your chest again, um, muscle can recover in up to about 36 hours, all depending on your sleep and your digestion and your stress, etc. But around 36 hours. So you've had a long time where your chest isn't get that, getting that stimulation. So if you train it again, so you can do full body workouts where you could, have, you could train, have a day off, go do your legs, and then go back to your upper body, you've, you've got that stimulation. So over a year, you could stimulate it. Instead of 52 times, 104 times, simple. There's a lot more, a lot more factors involved, but it'd be something for you to try. Okay, number three. We've got Omega-3, which is a, a basically a fish, fish oil found in fish, uh, avocado, eggs. You can just get the capsules, they're really cheap. Um, but they're really good at increasing anabolic hormones such as testosterone uh, and insulin, etc. Um, basically, they make your cells more permeable to allow nutrients and the hormones into the cells to do, the, to do their job. And it's really cheap, 5 to 10 grams a day, something like that, but it's highly effective. So I'd recommend supplementing with that or getting it from your food source. Okay, number four. We've got heavy and light. So that's meaning weights. So you go back to training twice a week. One, one say the Monday, the first time you train your upper body, let's go really light. So you do a lot of reps. So to like 20, even 30 reps, you get a really good pump and you get something that's called sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So that's increasing the fluid content of your muscles. So, which accounts for about 20-25% of your muscle. So it's one way of increasing that part of the muscle. Whereas then you have a couple of days off and then let's go really heavy. So you can do even up to one rep maxes or around five to 10 reps, anywhere in that range. And um, you're gonna stimulate actual myofibular growth, which is the actual fibers. So you're causing little micro tears and that stimulates growth. So you get two types of growth and you're, you're also not overtraining, so you're getting both, both different types of training. Which leads me on to the last one, which I think is most important, Rest, often really overlooked. So, you don't grow in the gym. Gym training is actually catabolic, so it means you're breaking stuff down. It's, that's the stimulus to grow. You're telling your body, right, we failed at this task. We need the muscle to grow stronger and have more energy to be able to do the task again, more efficiently and not fail. And that happens when you're resting and you're eating, eating your protein every four to five hours. So, I recommend at least two rest days a week. So, I train Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, then train Friday, Saturday, have Sunday off, something like that, or fit it into your lifestyle. So I hope this all helps, and um, there are my five top tips. Please like and share my page. Keep lifting.